variable declaration no hmm. so i am asking why this method you are calling find right this is also static and main method also static there is no issue okay. so method both methods are static but why you are getting this uh, uh, compile time error mm. Hmm? As it is throwing the exception, can we put in uh, uh, try blocks or something? No, no, actually, yeah. it's a type. Basically, right. yeah, you are close, uh, Rayashuri, but thing is, whichever the method you are calling, that method as a throws declaration, wherever you are calling, there also you must throw it. Or you must declare a throws declaration or you surround with a try catch block. If the method has a throws declaration, mm -hmm. the calling place also, you have to drive drive add the throws declaration. So that's the add throws declaration I'm adding. That's it. So this is the throws declaration so you have to add. So all these points I covered, hmm. I don't know why you are missing this. Make a note, make a note. So the note is, if the method has a throws declaration, the calling time also, you must declare that exception. That's the point. Okay. So that's the one. Next. I'll put some thread dot sleep. Roger. Thread dot sleep is uh, some 2000 milliseconds. Huh? And uh, so, and this thread dot sleep also, it will uh, so add the rose declaration. Moves over. Interrupted exception, it will throw. Okay, sometimes it, it bit is slow. Fine, now scroll up. So JSX dot execute script. So window dot scroll by. So I'll give 1500, okay? 1500 pixels. And I'm just add throws declaration. So now, again, you can capture the screenshot. Scroll up by pixels. That's it. Scroll down and scroll up. So you have to give here a minus if you want to scroll up. <clears throat> So we have to give negative vertical value. So next I want to scroll until the visibility of back to top button. So here you have a back to top button, right? So until the visibility of back to top, this one. So ID, so I can use ID and you can identify that element. So identify the 
back to top element. So web element back to top. So equal to driver dot find element by dot CSS selector hash that's it now so scroll for the this element so scroll for scroll until back to top is visible until back to top element is visible So back to top, the element is visible. JSX dot execute script. So execute script. And uh, so you have to give, so what is that? Arguments of zero dot Arguments of zero dot. So I think I forget that. Let's see what is that. So this is the code. Scroll into view. Yeah. Scroll into view method you have to give. Scroll into view method. And then this element name, you pass it here. So this is the how to scroll until the visibility of this element to scroll. You don't need give pixels. We don't know right? how many pixels here. You can find out X and Y coordinates. Yeah, so that's the another thing. So this is the visibility of that element you can do. Now you can capture the screenshot. Now you capture the screenshot. So back to top element back to top screenshot okay that's it then now you click on back to top sorry so back to top element so this is the element name this is the element name dot click so it will be on the top right so that is the one thing once you reach the top you take the uh, this logo screenshot this logo screenshot you take it this logo screenshot you take it so that logo screenshot i want to take it so inspect and see the here you have uh, so this id if id is there I, I i should not go anywhere or if you want me to use href i'll use href or rel label let me use RA label. I, 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 because we used already a different, right? I will use RA label. So, web element, uh, Amazon logo equal to driver dot find element by dot CSS selector. Uh, so, I'll use um, a square bracket aria iPhone label equal to single quote. So how many of you remember this formula? CSS formula. What is that formula? What is this formula? Input tag, tag name or the comma. Exact. The attribute equal to attribute value. Right, Ramesh? So the tag name, square bracket, okay. 
attribute name is aria label yes that value is amazon so that's the so that's the tag name is a now i need to capture the screenshot i'll call this method now this method i am calling so the method is uh, so web element i need to pass is amazon logo And the uh, screenshot name I'm going to give. Amazon logo. So Amazon logo screen. That's it. So this is all the screenshots. Um, I'm, I'm just capturing them. Okay. So, but generally you should not use thread dot sleep in the real time, but I'm just uh, giving, you know, uh, for your observation purpose. Uh, Real time, you should not use thread dot sleeps in the script because it is a hard sleep. Hard sleep means how many seconds you specify, that many seconds it will wait that a web driver thread will stop there. It won't perform any action. Two seconds means two seconds it will wait. If you specify 10 seconds, 10 seconds it will wait. It is not like our web driver intelligent waits. Web driver, intel web driver waits are intelligent waits. So, if, for example, you, in, you specify 30 seconds, if it occurs in 10 seconds, it will move. Next 20 seconds, it won't wait. That's the intelligent waits. But thread.sleep is a Java concept. Thread is a class, sleep is a starting method. So, this is the hard sleep. How many seconds you specify here? That many seconds, it will sleep there only. That means it will pause. Your execution will pause. Okay. So, so the next one is uh, I want to scroll by keys. Scroll the page by keys uh, enum. So first scroll down. So first scroll down with keys dot down for so loop because it will scroll keys dot down if you call only one time it will down just one pixel so if you want multiple i will just add int i equal to one our normal for loop i'm using i less than or equal to n. And 10 times it will scroll. So driver dot find element. So by dot tag name body tag. So body tag why I'm giving here is uh, so entire page is represented by body tag. That's why I'm giving a body tag. And then send keys keys dot that's it. Now, if you want, you can take the screenshot also. So you can take the screenshot. So I'll capture the screenshot. So the screenshot name I'm giving. Amazon logo. Keys uh, down. Keys down. Scroll by Keystone. Scroll by Keystone. So I'm just giving some wait time. Then I will do scroll up. Just call this everything. One more set. Because I want to do the same for loop. Control shift to format. So that's a shortcut to format the code. So here you will just call scroll up. That's it. So scroll by keys up. Okay. That's all. And uh, close the 
browser. Close the browser. So driver dot quit. Okay. So let's run this code now. Scroll and this one, right? Let's run this code. Run as Java application. So this is the one, one hour program. Oh, oops. UEF, UEF, MRY. Should not come basically. I think it got failed. Mm, failed. No such element exception. So, where is that? How to debug this? So, how to debug this issue? So, exception in thread main, no such element exception, no element unable to locate element um, search drop down box because first time uh, itself right these are the issues you need to tell what are the challenges you faced what are the exceptions you face during your uh, automation that means you have to tell this uh, so it's giving some trouble so let's uh, run this again so i think we have to end this uh, so you have to handle this, but when, when you launch first time, you are not getting right. Um, so I, what I'm going to do, I'll, I will handle this. If see that if, so after this, expected a condition, that's fine. That's okay. Let it fail. So I want to handle this. Uh, but uh, this capture, right? This is the capture. We cannot handle capture. That's another bigger problem. Mm. So let me run a link. That is no, can we change the URL dot com within dot in dot in in you put it dot in it it will work yeah that's what I was thinking yeah very good Anyway, it is failing. So let's wait. Expected a condition failed, waiting for the online shopping. Okay. See, the title is different. See, it is very clear. Clearly, it is telling. Expected a condition failed, waiting for a title to contain Amazon.com, spend less, smile more. But current title is online shopping site in India, shop online for mobiles, books, and this the page title is different. So instead of that, you can just give a common thing or you can give this one, Amazon, I'll just give Amazon, okay? See, where, where you are getting that error, how do you know? See that, your, your class name, method name, line number 41, just go line number 41, this is the one. So I'll use contains, I'll just remove everything. Contains means partial, right? Let's run it back. See, electronics is selected. The locator is different, what?
Okay. See, this, this is the problem. See, you how to face the problem to solve one by one. See, line number. So, what is the exception? Remember all these exceptions. Invalid selector exception. Compound class name not permitted. See that. The, I told you, right? Compound classes are, see, line number 50. This is the one, see? So, I will convert this into CSS selector. So, so I will just convert this into CSS selector dot. That's it. So remember, how, what are the different uh, exceptions we have seen? Three exceptions we have seen till now. How many of you remember three? What is the first one? No such, no such element found. Prime no exception. such element exception. No such element found. No, no such element exception. Element exception. Time out exception. Time out exception. Invalid, one? invalid selector exception. Invalid selector exception. So if you go to our blog, there also there are, this is the mandatory question. Even Muni also got recently in one interview. So make sure. So these, so while practicing itself, you will get these exceptions. So let's see. That's why I want to see more problems so that you will also get familiarity. See that? We are going fine now. Scrolling is stopped. I think this heading it is failing. I think we have to see what is the proper. Now one more one more error we got now. Yeah, definitely we'll get a problem that a heading only. I'm sure on this line. So here you are getting an exception problem here again. Or this title. So is it this title, I think this title, right? Yeah, see again, you got a timeout exception, expected condition failed. Waiting for a title, amazon.com, iPhone 15, but current title, amazon.in. Right. So what is the mistake? You all got it? Line number you can see here. Main method, line number 59. This is the one. So. Here you see that, you see that now is this the Amazon dot in, but we put Amazon dot com. So that's the change. Very clear, readable and user friendly message. So it waited, 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 waited for this dot com uh, title, but it was not there. Currently it is this one. Okay. So let's go and all this uh, close them. Multiple browsers, it will slow down your process. Okay, another timeout exception. Again, you got it. It timed out. See, scroll down now. This is, you observed the scrolling up now. Mm -hmm. So back to top is scroll down yes. and scrolled up. And, uh, so Amazon is now I'm scrolling 10, 10 times it will scroll now. Amazon dot in, I think, something problem there. Again, it will fail, I think. Yeah, so this, see, it failed already. No such element exception. No, see, we have seen this exception so many times. Why you will get a no such element exception? Unable to locate element with your locator. Area level. Amazing. So this is not there. So let's go and see what is that. Right click, inspect. So I'll put in the down. Yeah, so Arial Amazon dot in. What is the value of uh, Arial label? Amazon dot in. But what we have given? 
only Amazon. Yeah. So how can you get? How can you trace it out this issue? How can you find it out? See that your line number, your class name, method name, line number eighty. So this is the one. If you don't want, you can put a contains. How can I? How can I? I want to keep same value, but yes. how can you solve this? Contains of. This is the CSS selector. So yes. what is the? So what we need to use contains. Um, Keyword you cannot use in CSS. Dot. Hmm? Dot. Character. No, no, star, hmm? star, 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 star. Star. Very good. Star you have to put. Yeah, that's what you, you, you need to remember them. So by practice only it will come. So if you face the problems and see that all this, make a mistakes and correct them. And then you are going to be a super developer, automation developer. We are not facing the problems. You know, that's difficult when you get a one first time, if you get a, you know, problems, you will, you will scare. Well, practice time itself, if you get a problems, that's the coolest thing. You can solve them. So then move on. See, now where are my screenshots? So where I stored my screenshots? So under SRC, there is a screenshots folder. So let's go and you know, refresh your, brow, your project. See, there is a screenshot folder. See, these are all the screenshots. See, with the date and time. Date and time it, it open. You can open open with uh, browser. You can tell that. Open with the browser. I'm just checking. Browser. See, so this is the logo, right? And then open with. Browser, internal browser, no, I don't want internal browser. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Where? Where browser. See, this is the one. So back to top button, right? So you see back to top button. So like that, you can get all the screenshots. See, this is the loading. Maybe you need some wait time. Keys down. See, keys down. Keys up. See, this is the keys up. So, scroll down by pixels. Pixels. That's a pixels. So this is the old one. You can see timestamp. Okay, timestamp based on the. This is the latest one. This is the old one. Scroll up. Thirty-five, fifty-eight, thirty-eight. This is the latest one. So this is the, all the screenshots. You can see that. Okay. So this is the uh, screenshots will help you to solve any issues are there. So you can uh, delete, if you want, you can uh, delete the folders. So how can you delete the folders? Uh, here, before uh, uh, thing, you know, maybe after watching, if you want, you can delete it. So all of them, you can delete them. So delete all of them, okay? Yeah. So that's all about this. Please practice so that you will get a better idea. Okay. So the next one is, uh, I want to work with the links. So this is another important thing. I'll create a, a new package, uh, links, uh, links programs.
So I want to, uh, this is the scenario, uh, one scenario I'm taking here. Uh, you, you can take, a, so this footer links, any one of them here, any particular section, you can take this one or it's up to you, whatever you want, okay? So I want to, I, I, I'll take a different one, okay? LinkedIn.com. Okay, I logged in already here. So let me go here. Oh. I'll just explain today. Oh, this also got logged in. So let me log out. I'll log out. Right. So the bottom side, you have some footer links. You remember, right? So we, we saw them, right? These are the footer links. And I want to fetch all these section links. Then I need to click on each one. Each one I need to click. Again, come back. And I need to do all those things. OK? So that is the main thing I want to do that. How can you iterate this process for all the links? So as I mentioned in one of the uh, uh, find elements method, and also I have explained uh, this particular section links how to get. A particular section links how to get also I, I how to fetch all of them into collection I have given the code already so that is the code I'm going to reuse here one more time so first this entire section you need to identify again second step from this section fetch all these links into a collection and then iterate and if here so to iterate one by one with collection that's not possible but you have to do uh, the this thing, you have to construct an X path. And that X path, you have to split it and then join back. So with a for loop I variable. So because if, if you observe this, construct the X path for this sign up so that you, you will get a better idea now, right? So this is the uh, do, uh, do, U L L I right L I E so that's a so generic X path. Let me write that Control F. I'll write it here. So this div I'll use this div double forward slash div uh, contains of at the rate class comma single quote. Uh, this class is something okay. It changed it to mobile. Okay. So we do this. Yeah. So let me take this uh, div 
uh, till here at least. Dew class U L L A. -A. Dew class U L L A. -A. Contains of at the rate class comma single code. Um, slash ul slash la yeah so if you see that this is the one right this is the one uh so you are getting see one of 32 are there but if you give la of one see now one of four the other other also it is showing but you have to uh again do the grilling more then you will get, but at least see if you take two, second one will identify. If you take LA of three, uh, next one. So like that it is identifying, right? So this LA part, it is changing. Here it is changing. So let me take a uh, notepad plus plus. The, the main thing I want to tell here is, or object identification will go here. So the X path is, it is, this represent the one element. Say for example, if you see few more, the first element is having, uh, the first element is having one. The second element is having two and keep on increasing that, right? It is keep on moving. So in order to, to so here, this for loop i variable if you replace here and it will solve your problem so you can just how you can parameterize this x path is so just parameterization parameterizing the x path is simple so just remove this uh, number plus double quotes sorry double quotes plus i plus double quotes that's it so this is the in the for loop inside you use this x path and automatically whenever i value one it will replace one here la of one means first element will identify la i value two means here two two will replace this is the how parameterizing the x paths if one place the index is keep changing entire x path is common but only one place index is changing. Such cases you can parameterize the X path and you can loop it. Automatically it will represent the each time the I value changes, the element also changes. And you can iterate all of them. Whatever action you want to do, you can do. Like you can get the text, you can get the URL of the link, you can click on the link. So it will, when you click on the link, it will go to next page. Then you can come back and perform the action till all. So to come back from another page to this page, you have to use the driver dot navigate method dot back method. So this all again uh, kind of you know scenarios how to work with a links in a particular section. That one and another one more we are going to do in the entire page how to find a broken links. That also I'll explain. So next class we'll target this and then so we'll start the j unit framework this is the only thing pending and then we can start it so please practice all this and uh, come back uh, so that 